we'll make it work. Adrian Shepard. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, Eric Bond. Um, why don't you tell everyone who you are? Who is Eric? Who is Eric Bond? Not Eric Boyd. Eric Bond. Ooh, Eric <laughs> Bond. That is a great question. I'll try and uh, keep it brief. Okay. Um, father. I think that's okay. number one. I, thing. That's news. I did not know you had children. I have. I have one two, or two. One, three, beautiful four, daughters. Five. Okay. Um, Mabel and Dottie. All. Yeah. All daughters. Two daughters, Mabel and Dottie. They You're are a brave man. Yeah, it's a no. lot of estrogen in the house. Yeah. Well, I have. <laughs> so it's funny. I have two dogs that are female, Maltese poodles, Luna and Soul. Oh then my I have God. Mabel and Dottie, and, and then my beautiful wife, Elena. Oh, my so God. So father first. Um, wow. And, uh, yeah, just just uh, really love to be Happy a part Happy late of Father's family. Day. I didn't know you were dead. That's I appreciate cool. that. Yeah. I appreciate that. So tell us about uh, Agent Shepard. Who, who, who is he in your mind? What's his story? Yeah, so Adrian Shepard is a bit of a unique character. How so? Um, I think in a way... Inquiring writers want to know. <laughs> fair enough. I think in a way, uh, he almost has two, two personalities or two egos. When he's at okay. work, he's working. Yeah. He's... Like he's on. When he's, he's on, he's on. on. He's rocking, rolling. Let's get this done. Let's make this happen. This yeah. is what we need to do. This is how we do it. Yeah. But when he's not working, he's fun. He's fun. He's casual. Yeah. He's, he's 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 very fun. He's, like he's you know popping some, some. Yeah, he's got some color. Some he's color, colorful. right? So so he's gonna be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more casual, a little bit more down to earth, and you know, like get me a beer, let's hang out, let's yeah. watch the latest episode of whatever's hot right now, and okay, we're like like by a pool, like yeah. you know. Yeah, we definitely saw. I feel like we saw uh, a fun side of of Shepherd. In this, in China White, so far, like in this filming, yeah, you're you know, bringing it's, some color. Yeah, we're we're bringing some color to the screen, right? Yeah, Not everyone yeah. needs to be in the suit and tie yeah. and button up all the time. So I think he's going to bring that now. little edge, right? That little edginess to the not in the office scenes and and some of those situations. So what was your favorite scene so far? I know the team has just been, just been through it. You know, we had an unfortunate. You know, passing and then. Oh you know, the yes, movement. you were the. I'm, you I'm were the, the fill in. Oh my God, that's right. Yeah. Yes, you replaced an agent who, who I died in the agent. line of duty. Yeah, so I think that's kind of like a little bit of the chip on the shoulder. Okay. For it's like, hey, I'm right. coming in. I'm yeah. coming in hot. I'm ready to yeah. go. Let's get stuff done. And yeah. Um, but yeah, I came in. I mean, a couple of, like like an episode or two ago. So he's yeah. he's fairly fresh to okay. the team. But people I think are still gonna... trying to figure him out. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to create. Uh, a lot of fun situations, <laughs> not only in the office and, and you know, action-wise, but also off off. I see some and... similarities between you and Jeremiah Prince, yeah. like personality-wise. Like, oh, you I know, love... you guys are both so fun. I and love And so there's Jeremiah. a cool dynamic kind of developing between all, like just bromance. It, it, <laughs> it really is. Jeremiah Prince, played by Paul Cervenka, yeah. um, both are just First, Jeremiah's love a fabulous him. character. Love Paul him. is just a gem. Yeah, it's It's him. amazing. And also... Props to you guys. Oh, the writer, director, Alyssa Knight. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic <laughs> stuff. Oh, stop. No, um, keep going. No, just kidding. Know, stop. No, stop. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, but I also would be remiss not to bring up Melissa yeah, as yeah, well. I mean, you guys are just her. killing it. Um, yeah. Cinematography, executive yeah. producer. It's just so fun to be on a set like this where, where Alyssa Knight and, and, and Mel are just killing it right yeah. like these cameras these angles these light it's just so cool to be a part of it cool. so i want to say like just from the bottom of my heart oh, thank you we yeah. i i and we the team just appreciate you guys oh, so much that means a lot yeah. thank you what um what was the, i guess maybe emotionally and maybe even physically the the, the toughest scene for you so far so, or have you not had one yet? I haven't really had an emotional scene. Right. Um, most of my scenes, ironically, have been kind of, you know, to the point and action. So I guess I can say my two scenes was, A, I got to carry uh, Windsor. Oh, yes. Uh, played by TJ. Yes. Uh, I got to carry him probably about that was nine or ten times. I had to carry him about 15 feet. So by like, were you like, sore that night? Yeah, you were yeah. sore. That, I, I know we won't we won't <laughs> drop any spoilers, but like, I know like when I saw you guys do that, and you guys improvised that. That was I want to make sure everyone knows that that was not in the script. Yeah, you guys improv that, and I love that about you and TJ and Paul. You all are amazing at improv, and Zachariah as well. He's great at improv, but um, yeah, I loved that, and yeah. I, I I was like, God, he's TJ's not a light guy. 
TJ He's not a is light a guy. big dude. You, yeah, you, you, you were. He, so I did that a couple times. The second take, though, he slipped out of my hand. I fell backwards and hit a rock. Oh, so no. that one was probably the most physically challenging. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, it, it, it's okay. It was just that was the one. I fell right on my my left butt cheek and oh, woo, no. that bruise was stung. For a while. Yeah, I had a nice little bruise, oh, but uh, me and TJ were laughing about it. Yeah, um, that was probably the most physically challenging. But I think the the most fun scene. Uh, was the helicopter scene. Yeah, I think so. that's going to be the theme for a lot of these interviews is everyone really... It's interesting because I, I really thought, you know, there would be these other scenes that we filmed during China White where everyone would say different scenes, but the the helicopter, everyone's coming back with helicopter. I mean, you weren't scared? Were you scared? Like, I got to say, okay, uh, I will say that in, in looking at the way you were firing that saw machine gun, that like your whole body was shaking. You were like, I was like, damn. It really looks like you were firing that saw machine gun. You did a great job. I was that really scene. firing. That <laughs> That's what you. Think. Yeah. No, that was so. I I've never really had a fear of of a lot of things. So like okay. heights and all that stuff. So getting on the plane. I think the biggest fear was when they were telling us how to get on the plane and going through the tutorial. Yeah. Was, you know, I was kind of getting like. Am I, is my head gonna fall off? Is it gonna get chopped off? Am I gonna yeah. buckle in tight you're, enough? You're having to think about all these, like what um, uh, Paul was saying, and having to think about all these things that are going around, going on around you. The things that could go wrong. Yeah. It, it reminds me of a, an interview. I believe it was with a famous person, Will Smith, but he talks about like skydiving. Yeah. And like when you're actually skydiving, you're not afraid. You're not scared. You're in the moment. But everything leading up to it, you're like sweating, yeah. nervous. It's the anticipation. So it was like yeah, that five seconds person. before getting onto the helicopter, I was kind of like, ugh. But once I was in and buckled and on that gun, I was just like, ugh. What are the things about Shepard that you feel is most emblematic of you as, as a person? What, where, what, correlations do you like what are the corollaries between you two yeah i think the, the the biggest thing that i find relation to and hopefully throughout the seasons we start to to um, get to know shepherd a lot better and a lot more um uh closely is right. knowing when to uh be in the moment mm. and knowing when to let loose and have some fun the work-life balance or I think, like I he think, doesn't know when to sort of relax and i think the opposite he knows when to relax okay but he also knows when it's not time to relax okay so it's almost like you could see two different completely Five. different characters when he's in the office it's go 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 yeah, he's straight to the point let's get this down yeah. we need to get these guys yeah. but in maybe the, the, the later scenes where we're having a drink and celebrating or, you know, having more casual situations, he's going to be wearing something a little more fun. Yeah. Maybe making a, a, a witty little statement here and there. So yeah. knowing, I guess, uh, uh, the mullet, for instance, you know, business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> <a little> bit, <laughs> so. I can't believe you just said that. So uh, where do you see Shepard going in season two? Like, we're, we're, if you were talking to the writer right now, um, <laughs> uh, where would you like that writer to take his character? So I think there's a lot of places that Adrian can go because he has such a, a clean slate right now right. in the episodes. Um, I think a really cool thing, maybe with all, a lot of the characters is maybe to create a little bit more of a backstory, um, uh, maybe revealing why he is the way he is. Oh, okay. Uh, you yeah, know. I mean, we definitely, for me, I, I want to go into depth with each character. What's, yeah. what is their backstory? What's their home life like? What, why, you know, what makes them tick? Why are they the right. way they are? How are they all hackers? What, Ex what, yeah. you know, what made you a hacker and what brought you into hacking and, and what's your specialty as a hacker? Yeah. Um, where would you, where would you like, like if, if you were to write, write him yourself, yeah. What do you see? Like, do you see him wanting to take over the team? Do you see him wanting to get, what kind of cases like does Shepard want to take on? Yeah. You know, I, I, I think Shepard is, is, I want to say, I don't want to say alpha male, but I think okay. that's maybe a good yeah, way yeah. to describe it I would, where I would agree with that. he's coming in, he's one of shows his stuff. Yeah. He, he wants to, do you feel like he has something to prove? Yeah, I think he, he and, and I don't know necessarily the backstory on why he wants to prove that, but um, maybe he's got something to prove. He's got a, a chip on his shoulder, and, um, you know, I, I don't think he necessarily came from the, the greatest background, Okay, which is maybe why he has that drive to 
you know, come through and get stuff done, but also has that relaxed kind of vibe because right. that's just what it's always kind of been like, um, maybe behind the scenes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What message do you want the show to tell? Like, what do you want people to take away from Dark Ops in, in the few episodes that you've been in? That's a really good question, actually. I, I think when it comes to Dark Ops, there's a lot of situations and things out there that the general public just isn't aware of. Yeah. A lot of things that are happening behind the scenes on small scales, like in Puppet Master, Right. Um, but then even on the larger, sextortion. Yeah, yeah, the sex extortion of, and then yeah. even on like larger scales with, you know, the cartel and the Yakuza and things like that. Yeah. And I think the everyday person doesn't really bat an eye at it. Yeah. Um, or even know that it's going on. It, 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 exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like ignorance is bliss in a way. Yeah. So I, I think a really cool thing would just be to bring awareness of not only what's going on, but, but how, a lot of people behind the scenes are working extremely hard mm. and are extremely intelligent trying to protect us and take care of us and make sure that we can go into our day-to-day -day stuff right. because there's someone else out there doing that type of work. Yeah, and not only just the people, but also the technology, right? So I think this is what I love about working with a company like Tego Cyber, where we can tell the story, you know, we see ourselves as storytellers, right? right. We're, we're telling the story of what can happen when you're not using a product like Tego Cyber, doing threat correlation and being notified of these sort of early warning systems, exactly. you know, before they become a real problem. So I agree with you, there's that analytic rigor. So, you know, this, this human intellect that, you know, is brought to um, these characters, but also, making sure that that's also backed up by the right technology. 100%. That, and, and you said it way, way better than I could have said it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's exactly yeah. it, right? Yeah. Thank you. We, we love having you here. And I love to be here. This is fantastic. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite thing about working with Night Studios? Like, well, I the mean, writing and directing. Eh? You get a promotion and you get a, you get a raise and you And get Adrian raise. in the next episode takes over the team. Let's go. No. Um, That's amazing. I, I, is it, I mean, like, is it, we, we just brought in airy, uh, airy cameras. You know, we were good. Is, right it, here. is it the equipment? Is it the people? I mean, is, do you have fun? Like, is it, the, is it the fun you have? Like, what is it? What keeps you here, Eric? <laughs> I'm going to say three things. I think okay. three things. Yeah, I know you asked for one, and okay. I'll, I'll try and okay. briefly summarize right. these. Um, a, the direction. Okay. Thank and you. I know, I know, thank oh, yeah, but the direction is just phenomenal. I love, I love working with you, um, you. Alyssa Knight and, and yeah. Mel, and it's just fantastic being a part of that team, knowing when to be there, when, what's going on, how it's happening, when it's happening, and then just like the shots that you guys are getting oh. are just out of the, I, I mean, I got to, I got to hand it to Mel. No, she's she, Mel and, and Julio, both amazing uh, cinematographers. And, I was just going to yeah. say like, yeah. like Julio and Mel, yeah. like Julio was literally in that helicopter with me she, holding a camera. Julio bends his body <laughs> in a way to get shots that I have never, ever seen or fathomed. But yeah, I mean, yeah, both him and, and Mel, I mean, it's, it's, I feel like we all just are this great well-oiled machine. It's yeah. and that that's number one for me. It, the behind the scenes guy, the cinematography, the direction, yeah. just awesome, awesome to be a part of that. Um, number two, the the acting team itself, like oh, yeah. TJ, Paul, so Pat, many talented all of actors. the day players, all of the ex, everyone that we have has just been on point, locked in, and, and it's been so fun to be a part of that. Come prepared, and I I, I agree. I mean. Every single one, I, if you look at, you know, every, I feel like every studio, every director, every, every producer, they go through this sort of evolution where Absolutely. you look at their very first film, like ours was Ransom to now. And I feel like there's just definitely this maturity model and maturity scale that just, you know, and I feel like we've just, every production, it just gets, keeps getting better and better. And I know a huge part of that, a huge reason for that is definitely the talent in front of the camera too. And you guys are, you guys are professionals. I would, I would 100% agree with all of that, except the talent. Like 
Um, from You're like I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing most of the time. Uh, but absolutely, like, I, like yeah. when you guys brought me on, I went and I watched what I could uh, yeah. on Tego Cyber and 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 um, finding everything that I could gather. And it's so cool to see that evolution yeah. from episode, even episode one of Dark Ops. Yeah. Episode true. one of Dark Ops to franchise. what I just saw is yeah. like every single time is a level up. And yeah. it's just so refreshing. Yeah. It's so refreshing. Aww. Thank um, you, Eric. Well, we, we love you. And, you know, we're, I, it, it's such an honor for Mel and I and Julio, all of us, Nick. Um, I mean, everyone has this huge input and part in the process and the magic of, of making this. But, you know, um, I know I speak for all of us when I say, you know, we're, we're so honored to be working with you and, and the rest of the crew. You, know, you guys are amazing. Absolutely thrilled. I'm excited to see where this is going. I'm excited yeah. to be a part of the team. So thank you. Hey, I appreciate it. All right.